Okay, my name is Cara Owens and I'm currently doing the graduate um, entry level programme in medicine at King's College London. I went to school in Northern Ireland and uh, at a great school where we had a range of subjects and a lot of things were open to us and I did both arts and sciences for A-level because I really liked both of them and I wasn't sure what I wanted to really do and it was only then when I chose to, do, to study biology because I really loved it at A-level so I chose it for a degree which seemed quite a sensible thing to do and I think it was always kind of on the cards that I would go to university because um, both of my older siblings had went and the school that I went to, most people went to university, so it was always going to be an option that I thought of. Well, my dad's actually a, a lawyer, um, so he's very much on the arts side. Uh, my mum works, she's a primary school um, classroom assistant, so she works with people. So they're not, neither of them are, are scientists. <laughs> I'm the only one in the family. <laughs> my parents would be, I've always been very good role models for us because my father, for example, um, finished his degree when I was 15. Um, and actually became a lawyer. He had originally worked as a clerk for years and then he became a lawyer when I was 15. So I always knew that that was an option and my mum um, about seven years ago finished her degree. So again our family's always been kind of into that education side of things. So it's good, good role models that you can do it at any time as well in your life. You can change, you know, change and decide to do a degree or something else. I had three years of my biological sciences degree um, which was, I was actually based in Belfast, in Queen's University, um, and that was fabulous, had a great time, moved up there with my four friends, there was five of us girls in the house together, so you can imagine the, the mess of not anything else, but it was really, I would recommend it, it was brilliant, a lot of growing up, and I really enjoyed the course as well. Toward the end of the third year, so toward the end of my final year, I wanted to get a job for the summer, but I didn't, I, pre, prior to that I had worked in shops and things like that, but I wanted to try and get something that was more career focused. So I got a job, part-time job in the summer in a laboratory in Belfast, um, belonging to the university. And that really set me up for my interest then in, in research because I then spent another year with them, another, sorry, another summer with them. So that really got me interested in what they did and how research ran and that sort of thing. I did my PhD in um, molecular pathology. So basically I was um, trying to identify uh, gene fragments in uh, bacteria. So I spent a lot of time in the lab. And the bacteria actually infects mushrooms. So it's quite, it's not one that people are that familiar with. I know I used to tell people I do a PhD in mushrooms, but I didn't actually see that many mushrooms throughout the whole three years I was doing it. I honestly, honestly thought I was definitely going to be a scientist, a researcher. Um, a nerd, as my brother would say. <laughs> I was going to always be a nerd. But I knew you really wanted to do that. I never really thought it would take me toward medicine and I hadn't really ever thought about it that much at the time because when I was 18 I, I guess there's no medics in my family so I wasn't really thinking about that as an option. Um, my brother's a social worker and then my other sister's an occupational therapist. I did my PhD and then I actually worked for three years in, in educational development and a lot, did a lot of teaching and through that I met a lot of doctors who were doing their PhD because I was actually training PhD researchers at the time. And for just from talking to them, I got more and more interested in what they did and saw myself as somebody who perhaps could fit in quite well in that area. A lot of medics will do their medical degree first and then do a PhD later, which is probably sort of the, the, the normal way of doing it. But for me, I think I, n I never really knew what I wanted to do. And I, I knew I wanted to do science, but I didn't, I th it, didn't until, it wasn't until I got into research that I realised um, that I would like to move into medicine. Hats off to my PhD supervisor who put up with me for three years <laughs> and all of my insecurities. And he has to be given a gold star and he's still very much involved. Like, for example, he supports me now in my, you know, my medical degree and helps with anything that he, that he's always there of anything I need to discuss or need any help with.